welcome back students so today we will start chapter number five adobe photoshop cc okay so in today's class we are going to discuss on starting adobe photoshop cc creating a new file and saving a file inserting images and we are going to discuss on the uses of three different tools in photoshop that are marquee tool lasso tool and or move tool so let us begin now students make sure that you should have a adobe photoshop installed in your device okay so as i've already installed the adobe photoshop i will directly click on the start button from the startup menu i'll go and click on adobe adobe photoshop cc icon here okay just click on it so you can see that the windows has started opening so so now let us go through the component of the photoshop cc okay so at the top you can see this is a menu bar okay so it is the topmost horizontal bar in the photoshop window and it contains all the main menus of the photoshops like say file menu edit image layers type and so on okay so we call this as a option bar control panel so what happened is whichever tool you will click here it will show the properties of all those tools okay and this is the document window or what we call it as a working area and if you see on the left hand side you can see our tool panels here so you can see a numerous tools here now in this tool you may see some of the triangular shape at the right bottom corner okay so if you click on this uh, tools in the triangular shape if you right click you will see some more hidden tools that may appear inside this tools okay so you can see that in the tool panel each and every tool they contain some of the hidden tools inside okay now how to create a new file so in order to create a new file we need to go to the file menu here then click on new option okay so this is a new dialog box here if you want to give a name to the file you can give your name you need to adjust the width you need to adjust the height okay accordingly the working area will appear and you can also adjust the rbg that is red blue uh, green and blue colors but make sure that your background will always remain white okay and finally click on okay so you can see that this white space we call this as a working area and whatever the activity that we are going to do on photoshop we need to do it inside this white space okay now second is how to save the file after creating uh, your work okay after completing your work so if you need to save the file you have to go to the file menu at the top okay from the drop down menu you have to go and click on save as so you need to find the location where you want to save the file okay so it may be a desktop it may be a document it may be any of the drive like c drive or d drive okay just select the location then give a name for the file suppose say my first photoshop file let this be the name okay click on save so what will happen in the desktop your file will be saved with the name my first photoshop file okay now next is to insert the image in the work area so if you want to insert the image in the work area go to the file tab from the drop down menu click on open option okay make sure that you should have the images stored in your device so i have some of the images here okay let me select this image flower so click on this image and click on open button so you can see that the image has appeared in my working area now let us discuss some of the selection tool okay now first one is the marquee tool so we call this as a marquee tool okay so using marquee tool you can select the area of an image either in the rectangular square elliptical or circular shape now if i right click on this uh, marquee tool you will see uh, four different types of marquee tool that is rectangular marquee tool 
elliptical marquee tool, single row marquee tool, and a single column marquee tool. So if you want to select the part of an image in a rectangular shape, then you need to click on rectangular marquee tool. Now press the left mouse button and drag the mouse. So after selecting the particular area, release the mouse button, you can see that this particular part of an image has been selected, okay, using a rectangular marquee tool. Now if you want to move this part of an image from one position to another, then you need to take the help of a move tool. At the top, you can see we call this as a move tool, okay. So move tool is basically used to uh, move the part of an image from one position to another. So click on the move tool, press the mouse button and just shift it from one position to another. Okay. Now let us see the next tool. So the next tool is elliptical market tool. So basically we use the elliptical market tool to select the particular part of an image either in the ellipt elliptical or circular area. Okay. So press the mouse button drag it release the mouse button okay now you see that this particular area has been selected in the form of a oval or a circular shape so go and click on the move tool press the mouse button and you can shift it from one position to another position okay so this part of an image has been selected using our market tool sorry the elliptical market tool and this part of an image has been selected using a rectangular marquee tool now let me insert a new image in the working area so again go to the file menu from the drop down menu click on open option okay so this time i am going to the animal section and i'll choose one of the image here so select the image that you want to place it in the work working area click on open so you can see that the picture of the cat has appeared okay now in this image, I am going to select the part of this image using a lasso tool, okay. So lasso tool is also one kind of selection tool. So if you click, right click the mouse button in the lasso tool, you will get three types of lasso tool. One is lasso tool, another is polygonal lasso tool and the third one is magnetic lasso tool, okay. Now what is the use of lasso tool? So let me click on the lasso tool first, okay. So this is used to make a free form selection free form selection means just click the mouse button at one end so whichever way you want to select the image just take the mouse pointer okay you can see that the part of an image will get selected in that particular form so we call this as a selection of a part of an image using a lasso tool okay now next next is a magnetic lasso tool okay so right click the mouse button here so polygonal lasso tool so to select the polygonal area if you want to select the polygonal area then we have to use a polygonal lasso tool means selecting the part of an image by clicking on different point so let me just click the mouse button okay drag it press the mouse button in this point go in that area press the mouse button in this side in this way so you have to click at a particular point okay now see the part of an image has got selected here so we call this as a image been selected by a polygonal lasso tool okay now there is one very important tool the third tool of a selection tool we call this as a magnetic lasso tool okay so click on the magnetic lasso tool now see if you want to select the part of an image very very precisely we use a magnetic lasso tool okay now just click on the starting point okay just click the mouse pointer on the starting point so this is my starting point now simply move the mouse pointer okay no need to press the mouse pointer just simply move the mouse pointer through the edges of the shape okay slowly in this way so we call this as a selection using a mani, ma, sorry, magnetic lasso tool okay so this helps us to select the part of an image very very precisely just taking the edges of those image so let me just 
move the mouse quickly so that I can show this particular area to you as quickly as possible okay so let me move the mouse pointer in this way and finally what you need to do is you have to go to that same place from where you have started moving the mouse okay so let me go in that particular place here so this is my place click the mouse button now you can see that the part of an image has been selected now click on the move tool just simply press and drag it you can see that the the image that you have selected using a magnetic lasso tool has been selected in this way okay so these are some of the uses of selection tools so in the next class we will go with some more tools that can be used in the photoshop cc okay this is all in today's class thank you children